hello 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 queens i'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today i'm going to be showing y'all how i created this beautiful new year's eve glam on my nail tech this is the lady that keeps my nails looking bomb but we're jumping straight into this video I'm starting it off by cleaning her face now i'm just going to proceed to doing her eyebrows and to fill them in i'm using these two liquid lipsticks from zarura and pretty by marquita first i'm going in with my nika k brow pencil and i'm using this to create an outline of where I would like to apply the pencil so it doesn't get all messy. I'm going in with the darkest liquid lipstick which was from Pretty by Marquita and I'm taking it on an angle brush and I'm going to be using this to fill in majority of her eyebrows. Now that the back of her eyebrows are all filled in, I'm going in with this lighter liquid lipstick from Zarura and I'm going to be using this to fill in the front of her eyebrows. I decided to go in with two shades of blue just because y'all know I like for my eyebrows to have that nice ombre type of look and it doesn't matter if I'm doing it with color or without color, I will always want them to blend so that's why I decided to take the lighter shade at the front. Now that the brows have been completely filled with the liquid lipsticks, I decided to go on top of them with eyeshadows that match the shades just to set them in place and bring more pigmentation into the eyebrows. Y'all, I wanted that blue to be as popping as possible because as y'all can see, her hair is blue. So I just thought that would be a cute little accessory to the look. To clean up her brows, I'm going in with these two Nika K concealers in the shades 01 and 07. First, I'm taking the shade 01 because it's lighter and I'm using this to clean up her arch. If you are familiar with my routine, then you're probably used to me using some clear eyelash glue before I clean up the brows. I like to use glue to lay the brow hairs down, but since I filled them in with the liquid lipstick, all of her brow hairs were already held in place, so I didn't have to do that step. But now I'm taking my buffing brush and I'm using it to buff out the 01 concealer and once it's all blended I'm going to be taking the shade 07 and using it to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows.
Now that both brows have been cleaned, I'm going in with my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm just pressing this at the front of them to lighten them up and I'm also using it to set around some of the concealer. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and it's in the shade White and I'm just going to apply like a dime size amount to her lids and then I'm just going to blend it all out. I like to blend out this product immediately after I've applied it just because it dries very fast. To start off her eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Light to Medium. And I'm going to be using the shades in the palette as my transition colors. So as you can see, I'm applying it to the outer edge of her eye using this blending brush that I probably ordered from Shop Miss A. And as I build up the color, I'm going to start bringing it in. Now I'm going in with this cool dark brown eyeshadow from my Technic that he is on palette and I'm just applying this to her crease. I decided to go in with some black eyeshadow just to deepen up her crease a little bit more. You're going to notice that as I keep applying shades to the crease, I like to go in with whatever blending brush I use to apply the transition shade and just alternate between it and the crease brush to ensure that everything is blended. I'm going in with some more of that e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm just going to press this all over her lids. Now I'm taking this pigment from Ashley Lee Cosmetics and it's in the shade Silver Milky Way and I'm just going to be pressing this directly on top of the concealer. If you've watched any of my other videos then you know that this is my all time favorite pigment. This pigment is always my go to y'all. I've used this in so many looks and just look at it okay look at the shine. It is popping. I recommend all of y'all go get y'all some. And it is very affordable as well. But once I have all that pressed on, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner. And I'm going to be using this to create a wing. Once I'm finished drawing on my wings, I'm going in with my Fenty White Liquid Liner and I'm using this to create an accent line.
I'm gonna be going back in with my black wet and wild liquid liner and I'm using it to clean up around my accent line. This next step is optional. If you would like to leave the look like this, then you can leave it like this. But this is New Year's Eve, so we're going in with some glitter. I have two fine glitters and one chunky glitter, and I'm going to be mixing them together to create this look. I mixed the two fine glitters together, and this is what the combination of those two look like. And I went ahead and applied an adhesive on top of the pigment to get the glitters to stick. Now that the fine glitters have been applied, I'm going in with the chunky glitter and I'm placing it directly on top of it. Two of the glitters that I used came from AliExpress, which was one of the fine glitters and the chunky glitter. Unfortunately, I don't have a link for it because I ordered it a long time ago, but if you type in glitter on AliExpress, you should be able to find something similar to it. The colors are just silver, and one of the fine glitters that I used came from the beauty supply store. It's by the brand Is Me New York, and it's in the shade Diamond. But now we're moving on to the face. I went ahead and cleaned her face off camera. Now I'm just moisturizing her skin using my Pond's moisturizer. And to press it in, I'm using a damp Real Technique sponge. To prime her face, I'm going to be using Calamine Lotion. This is what the bottle looks like. A lot of y'all have been requesting me to show this. I like to use the Walgreens brand. And as you can see, I like to focus it in her T-zone. And once I have it all applied with this brush, I'm going to go back in with that sponge and use it to press it out. For her foundations, I'm going in with these two Fit Me foundations. The shade names are on the screen. But first, I'm going in with the darkest shade, and I'm just going to be applying this to the lower regions of her face. Now, I'm going in with the lighter shade, and I'm just applying it to the inner portion of her face. To blend the two shades together, I'm going in with this dense foundation brush and I'm just going to tap everything in. To highlight her face, I'm going to be going in with some Nika K concealer and I mixed it with her foundations to get this color, but I'm just applying it to the normal places that you would highlight.
to blend out the concealer i'm going back in with the same brush that i used to blend out her foundation and i'm just tapping it all in To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with these two powders. One is from Fit Me and the other one is from Morphe. First, I'm going in with the Fit Me Press Powder and it's in the shade Pure Beige. And I'm just pressing this onto the concealer using my damp Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana and I'm pressing this directly on top of the Fit Me Press Powder. To bronze up her face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Light to Medium. And I'm taking the Sculpting shade and I'm just pressing this on her face using this fluffy powder brush. Now I'm going in with another Fit Me Press powder in the shade Toffee and I'm using this to set the remaining areas of her face. I'm taking this blue LA Girl eyeliner and I'm using this to line her waterline. Now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm just applying this to her lower lash line. I'm going back in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to press in all of the powder. I went ahead and sprayed her face with some setting spray so now I'm just fanning it all in place. Now it's time to do lashes. I decided to go for a long pair with this look. I went ahead and cut them to fit her eyes off camera so now I'm just gluing them onto her lash line. Once I'm finished applying her other lash, I'm going to begin to highlight her face. And to highlight her face, I'm using an eyeshadow from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. And unfortunately, y'all, this will be the end of the video. I did record me doing her lip and the grand reveal, but I am running low on storage. So the clips did not pop up in my album but she did tell me she loved this look and y'all know i loved it as well i already posted this look on my instagram so if you aren't following me there you should you definitely should but y'all went crazy over this look on my instagram so i decided to post the video anyway but this is the finished look i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you would like to follow my nail tech on any of her social media links they will be in the description box down below. Bye-bye, queens.